Hey guys, I'm so glad you joined me. Um, I just went live on Facebook just a few minutes ago to show you how to make the singing canary concentrate. So drink up, it's really good. We're not gonna let the flu bug get us. Um, this is just a real quick, it used to be a, a side dish when I first did it in the very beginning of, I didn't even know what Trim Healthy Mama was when I was doing this, but you're gonna take, um, I, I'm actually gonna add some chicken to it so that it can be a full meal. Because Trim Healthy Mama, you always, the very first question you wanna ask anytime you're doing, I'm talking with a knife, my mom's gonna get me on that one. Anytime you're doing Trim Healthy Mama, the first thing you wanna ask is where's your protein? If your protein is chicken, fish, um, peanut butter, whatever, first thing you ask is where's your protein? The second thing you ask is, is this going to be a fat fuel or is it going to be a carb fuel? So E or S. So that's what you want to ask second. Is it more than 45 grams of, or up to 45 grams of carbs? Then it's going to be a carb meal. Is it more than 10 grams of fat? Then it's going to be a fat meal. So you want to ask yourself where you're headed. So I do tend to eat more fat meals than I do carb meals. I have to really eat carb meals on purpose. Um, but what I want to show you is this is Pyrex and it has a little lip on it. And this lid is super de duper handy. Um, it just clips right on. So, and those of us who already have arthritic hands, um, I just found a really good deal on these on Amazon. So, go check out my Amazon page. Um, you'll find it off of my Facebook page, Simple Classic Life. And then you can just take a right and click shop now. So, you're going to, you can either do the squash or the zucchini first and just slice them up. I'm not real particular, y'all, about how I slice stuff. Um, you want to do it thick enough so that it will not get mushy on you. Um, and go ahead and turn your oven on 350. And just put a little layer um, of squash in the bottom. And that's really all you're going to do is just put a little layer of squash in the bottom. And I love, love, love feta cheese, y'all. And this feta is already, see it's backwards, tomato basil. So you're already gonna put, um, and you can certainly do this however you wanna do it. Um, I just do it in three layers. So your first layer can be either the squash or the zucchini, doesn't matter which. Um, and you don't have to put all of them in here. So see, so you just get them layered like that in the bottom. All right, so then on top of this squash layer, you're going to sprinkle some of that tomato basil feta on top. And then I've got some chicken that I already did the other day. I did this chicken in my Instant Pot. I just got a bunch of chicken. And then I'm just going to layer some chicken in the little holes. Holes? Well, you know, not holes, but you know, the little crevices. Whatever. Anyway, I'm just layering a bunch of chicken in there. And y'all, this is a super easy side dish. You can leave the chicken out if you're gonna do salmon or if you're gonna have burgers or something with this, you could leave the chicken out. Um, I'm just feeling lazy today and I'm not feeling up to par, so I'm just gonna stick some chicken in here and call it a meal. All right, so now you're gonna do your zucchini and slice that up. I should have already sliced this before I started, y'all, I'm sorry. Um, so now slice your zucchini up and just single layer this zucchini because it's going to get pretty thick if you're not careful. Alright, oop, I don't want the end. Alright, so single layer that zucchini in there. And then on the top, we're going to put the tomato. So it'll be really pretty. Um, I'm not one to make pretty food. Usually my food looks, you know, I don't know, every time my mama would make a cake or something, she'd say, I don't know, this cake flopped, we'd all be flying into the kitchen because usually something that flopped was really yummy. All right, so there's that, and then we're gonna put some more tomato basil feta on top of that. Y'all, I swear, I could eat this feta with a spoon right out of here. Um, okay, so that, that way we leave just enough, and then let's put some more little chicken in there, y'all. Um, this chicken, I, I had not had a shower the other day when I was making this chicken or else I was going to video it for y'all and show you how to do the chicken in the Instant Pot, but um, whew, I was right. I mean, I just was not feeling it, so I did not video it. I'm sorry, but I will. 
Um, I'll get it in there, but the Instant Pot is just my newest favorite thing. All right, so there's some more chicken. All right, so now we're gonna layer the tomato and then we're gonna be done, y'all. Um, go ahead and turn your oven on um, 350. I'm gonna try not to cut my hand right here on Instagram. Um, my knives need sharpening for one thing. All right, so. There's that. I'm gonna cut the other one just because I know it's not really tomato season, but down here in the south, we don't need a season. We're just gonna eat tomatoes anytime we want to. What'd Chrissy say? Jason's not a big feta fan. Well, you know what? You could put half feta on one side and whatever Jason likes on the other side. Um, all right, so look at there. Isn't that pretty? All right, so there's the tomatoes on the top. And the last thing I'm gonna finish it up with, I'm gonna put the rest of the feta on the top. And, um, cause then it'll get really good and crispy. All right, so now, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drizzle olive oil over the whole thing. Kinda like that lady at Subway, you know, that makes your sub sandwich, you know, and she just puts all that oil and vinegar all in it. Oh, I just love it. I'm gonna put a little more. Okay, all right, so that's it, y'all. Super, super easy. This has got a bunch of chicken in it, but we'll probably put some more chicken on the side just for the heck of it. But y'all, isn't that pretty? Ah, I usually don't make pretty food. Usually my food's really weird looking. But anyway, all right, so I'm gonna stick this in the oven. Um, it's actually 3.30 where I am, and um, my eating's been all off today. So anyway, we'll stick this in the oven. Chuck's upstairs studying for his um, class coming up. So I love y'all. Have a great day. See ya.